。雖然一餐飯可以解決人生好多大大小小嘅問題，但係講到社會問題度，就當然要交翻俾專業人士啦。最近 Urbanarium 就舉辦咗一個比賽，目標咧就係要解決社會最大嘅兩個問題：住屋負擔能力同埋氣候變遷啊！等參賽者可以發揮想像力，去想像一下公寓嘅新可能性。今日咧，我哋就請嚟咗 Urbanarium 嘅 Executive Director Amy 嚟同我哋傾下偈啊 ！Hello Amy， 多謝你今日嚟到同我哋分享呢個咁有創意嘅比賽啊！首先，我想問下你舉辦 Decoding Density 呢個比賽係受到咩啟發，同埋想透過呢個比賽達到咩目標呢？ Urbanarium launched this competition just、um, in mid-December, trying to get as many people,、um, everyone from everywhere, to help imagine the future of mid-rise apartment designs in Metro Vancouver. So right now we have 110 teams registered from 11 different countries that will bring in their seriously creative ideas. That hopefully will challenge and highlight、uh, Metro Vancouver or BC's building codes and other regulations to better address housing affordability and climate resilience. So you asked why、uh, why were we inspired to do this particular competition? Well, you know this competition we have four sponsoring municipalities: Richmond, Burnaby. Um, Surrey and Vancouver, but here's the clincher: while it's the standard for density, designers exploring these、um, apartment forms, like architects and urban planners and designers, when they're when they're designing these, they find that the building code and other regulations only allows them to generate a simple box. So. We want people to get outside the box and really think about new ways, new designs that can help with outdoor space, more light in your apartment, cultural elements,、um, communal, multi-generational family environments, etc. Wow, this is really a good idea. Can you tell us about some of the challenges of the design development standards and how to deal with these challenges? There's so many codes out there right now that it's very constrictive to design, and each individual regulation is hard to critique. And sometimes it makes a lot of sense. They're out there because of safety or the environment, what have you. But over these 150 years, there's an accruement of codes that is really getting in the way. Restrictions of height, staircases. Corridors, banners, rails, windows, air conditioners,、uh, wall thickness, backloaded postal out boxes, elevators, parking, energy, environmental, fire access—you name it. It just goes on and on.、Um, you know, historic conservation requirements, etc. But one great thing about this competition, and right now we have like 11 countries around the world that's focusing on our region. They're going to help us look at our code and give us some better ideas. Um, and also, like looking at different examples and how safe and beautiful they are. Hopefully, that that inspiration、um, can really help affect new policy change for us. When people see the way things are done elsewhere and how it could be,、um, it can really lead to change quicker. And right now, we sure do need more housing. 希望喺不久嘅將來可以見到呢啲改變啦。最後，我想你同大家分享一下，想點樣透過呢個比賽推動大灣嘅城市規劃同埋住屋政策改革咧 ？And I think one of the the unique ways that we do this through this competition is through creative solutions. Like I was saying, inspiration is really effective policy work. When people see drawings or new ideas. It really allows them to kind of enter a new possibility, a new future, some change, and maybe normalize innovation that other countries are doing really well. Hmm. 咁就等我哋一齐期待啦。今日多谢晒 Amy 嘅分享。有兴趣了解更多嘅观众，可以去到佢哋嘅网站了解详情噶。